hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is Rahul in today's video we are diving deep into the kth lexicoglyph kill happy string of length then lead code problem actually this problem is an exciting challenge that blends lexicoglyph kill ordering with depth first search in this video we will cover the problem statement and why we are using this approach rather than backtracking why this one is efficient and we will write one efficient java code then we will discuss about the complexity analysis that's it so if you are new here just subscribe my channel and like this video and comment if you have any feedback or anything for future videos so let's start Here the problem gives us a string made up of only letters A, B and C. It defines a happy string as a string where no two adjacent characters are the same. Which means, I will just mention, uh, just take, uh, as of A, B, C, these three characters, the happy strings can be A, B, C and A, C. At the same time, it can't be AA and BAA means in the first two means ABC and AC. These are not repetitive as well as they are not uh, adjacent. When the second one like AAA, BAA in these things, they are repeating as well as they are adjacent. Okay, I hope you understand what I meant. In this problem, we have two integers, one n, which is the length of the string, and k, the kth lexicographical happy string. So we need to return the kth happy string if it exists, or an empty string if k is too large. Okay. So we can go through this example at first. Here we have input n equal to one and k equal to three. Here we have the list a b c contains all happy strings of length 1 so the third string is c next one n equal to 1 and k equal to 4 here the thing is we have only three happy strings of length 1 right so k equal to 4 is out of bond so it will be an empty string when it comes to here our uh, strings will be of length 3 and we have to find the ninth value as of this it will be in a sorted order so we will get an output of CAB as well uh, means if you go through this example you will get to know first A, B, A, A, B, C like that it will be in a sorted order that we got the um, strings okay so approach that we are going to use in this code that we can solve this efficiently so first of all lexicographical sorting here we must generate all happy strings and return the kth one secondly that first search this recursive approach generates strings characters strings character by character and it appends the next possible character means a b c while ensuring it doesn't repeat the last character and finally efficient search by calculating how many happy strings can be generated from each character at each level we decide which branch of dfs to explore as i mentioned earlier why i am using the first search instead of backtracking actually that for search is ideal here because we are constructing valid strings on the fly. Since uh, we know how many valid strings a character can produce at each depth, we avoid unnecessary exploration. In case of backtracking, we have to explore all branches before deciding which is inefficient in this case. Okay, that's why we are using that for search. Now let's jump into the code. And I will explain everything clearly. 
first of all i have to create one variable int n2 and here is our method get happy strings with inputs n and k i already mentioned what is n and k so now i need to initialize um button be initialize variable to n2 initialize value to the n2 uh, in order to store the length of happy string so here the length is n okay so here we will use that to calculate the number of happy string possible at each depth so n2 is equal to n okay now we have to call one helper function so return dfs here we have input like one empty prefix and length and target so new string builder and k okay come out of the method now we have to start our helper function so public string dfs string builder over prefix now give length and target okay first of all we have to check for one base case means if n is 0 we have built a complete happy string so nothing else to give so we have to return it okay if n is 0 nothing return prefix dot to string then we have to iterate over the characters as we know we have three letters only that is a b and c so the limit will be from a to c okay so this will ensure lexicographical order so for char c is equal to a c less than or equal to c then increment c here we have to avoid the repetition means if the class character in the prefix matches the current character nothing to do just skip it if prefix dot length greater than zero and c is equal to prefix dot caret prefix dot length minus one okay then nothing to do we have to skip it for that i know you know the keyword continue okay once this done come out of the loop we have to count the possible strings right for that i need to initialize one variable and in order to count happy strings from current character we have some condition like not conditions we have to uh, check like since uh, each valid character choice reduce the remaining string length by one the number of possible happy string is two raised to remaining length right 
like that we have to give so int count is equal to int math dot power sorry 2 and 2 minus prefix dot length minus 1 okay now we have to check another thing that is if the count is greater than or equal to k then we have to explore the branch with the current character okay so if count greater than or equal to k then nothing return dfs prefix dot append c and minus 1 and k okay once this done we have to go for the else condition because if it is uh, not like this then we have to decrement k and skip to the next character so else k minus is equal to count so once this done come out of the loop and return let's run it okay sorry that's working so let's submit it Hmm, it's almost hmm, okay. <clears throat> when I tried before, it becomes hundred percent. So okay, why this solution is efficient? Because DFS about another exploration. I already mentioned that here we skip entire branches of the search tree if we know k is too large. Then second, the lexicographical order is maintained. By iterating over A, B and C in order, we ensure strings are generated in the correct way. Now here is our complexity analysis part. In this one, generating all happy string that has a worst case, okay, time complexity of big of 3 raised to n. However, while skipping mechanism reducers, the branches explode, making the average time complexity closer to, okay, not equal, closer to big of 2 raised to n. In case of time, uh, space complexity, the space used is proportional to the depth of the recursion, which is big of n. Now, during the example part, I just clearly mentioned how we are getting the answer and everything. So that's it for today's problem on happy strings. Here we covered the problem that for search why it is better than backtracking and detailed code explanation as well as complex analysis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more DSL tutorials. See you next one with another exciting problem. Till that, happy coding.